This is your daily music licensing and marketing tip by Magnatrax. Audio fingerprinting versus watermarking. If you haven't heard much about these, you're not alone. These are two relatively new technologies that have emerged to help artists, labels, and publishers to identify ownership uh, of a musical work from an audio file and to allow these rights holders to get paid more often. Here's what you need to know about both. Audio fingerprinting is a technique where the unique signature of a music file is listened to and it's stored in an archive. When there's playback of that audio file in a nightclub or on television or on YouTube, that audio is recognized it can, and it can be matched against a database that contains all the artist and the ownership information for that copyright. When ownership or those rights change hands, that database is simply updated. Watermarking, on the other hand, takes that information and, and it embeds it right into the audio file in a frequency range that's above what we can hear as human beings, but it can be heard by special decoding software. The advantage that watermarking has is that it, it isn't affected by voiceovers or uh, bad audio or, or edits also allows you to identify multiple versions or edits of the same song individually. So you can get better insights into which version was being played or which one was being used where. Toonsat, Digimark, and Shazam are, are well-known names that offer these technologies. If you want to know more about how they work and how you can use these tools as an artist to protect yourself, visit our blog at magnatrax.com blog. Thanks.